Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I have been working on a Goodreads shelf. Basically, I've been putting together a shelf of all of the releases that are coming out in 2020 that I think I will give five stars to. So yeah, this is basically my five star predictions of 2020 releases. There are 15 on this list so far and it is by no means a complete list because I know there are things coming out that I either don't know about or I've forgotten to add to this list or whatever. So if you know of a release coming out in 2020 that you think I will really love, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this list. This first one I know for sure is five stars because I actually got to read it already. And it is The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. This comes out later this month on February 25th and it is basically a dark romance. She called it her Slytherin romance and if you guys know me then you know I was 100% there for that concept. Basically it's about a girl and she is tired of being overlooked so she comes up with this scheme to marry the king of their kingdom and then kill him and become queen herself. So yeah, if that sounds up your alley, you should definitely pick this one up because it was freaking amazing and definitely five stars. This next one is one that already came out because I am late putting together this video. But anyway, it is A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Kimmerer. This is the sequel to A Curse So Dark and Lonely, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. And in the second one, we follow kind of one of the main characters ish. He's really more of a side character in the first one, but we follow him more in the second one and he's more of a main character. And I freaking loved it. It was amazing. I was not sure how I was going to feel about it because I've definitely gotten out of retellings more as like time has gone on since I read the first one, but she killed it on the second one. So yeah, if you haven't read it already, you definitely should. This next one is kind of a guilty pleasure one. I'm not gonna lie. It is The Betrothed by Kiara Cass. It comes out on May 5th and I don't even really know what it's about. I assume somebody is getting betrothed to somebody, but I remember when I was reading her selection series and I freaking read those so fast and I really enjoyed them. And like I said, it was kind of like a guilty pleasure type of read, but I loved it and so I feel like I will probably really enjoy the series as well. So yeah, that's on this list even though, I don't know, I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's a guilty pleasure type of read or it's gonna be. The next one probably is not gonna surprise you guys if you have been here for a while. It's Queen of Vaults by Amanda Foodie which is the third in the Shadow Game series and I loved the first one and the second one so so much. I actually have a vlog for the first one where I pretty much just like rambled on for like 20 something minutes about how much I loved this. But yeah, this is going to be the conclusion. So I don't even really know what's going to happen. I don't really look at synopsis, especially for conclusions. And I can't tell you guys what it's going to be about anyway, because then it might give you spoilers for the first one. But the first one follows our main character in, and she is going to New Reigns to try to find her mother because her mother has disappeared. And while she's there, she falls in with some kind of unsavory characters and it's fantastic. So yeah, I'm excited. That one comes out on February 1st of 2020 and I can't wait. This next one is another sequel and it is City of Spells, which is the second book to the Into the Crooked Place series. Goodreads says it's going to come out on October 6th of this year and there's no cover yet. There's no synopsis yet, but it doesn't even matter because I freaking loved Into the Crooked Place. It felt a lot like Ace of Shades to me, just in the like vibes and atmosphere of the story and I just freaking loved it. Basically, this takes place in a world where magic can be bartered and traded and 
what have you. And there's a city where a bunch of gangs kind of rule the city. And our main characters are various members in this power struggle. And the world was just freaking amazing. I loved it so much. So I know I will love the second one. This next one is another one that I feel like is going to be kind of a guilty pleasure type of read. It's Of Curses and Kisses by Sandia Menon, and I am so excited for this. It's billed as like a contemporary Beauty and the Beast retelling, which once again, I said I wasn't really that into retellings lately, but the reason I'm into this one is that there's princesses and lords and a boarding school and a romance, and those are pretty much all of the things that I need to be happy. So yeah, there's that. And yeah, that, like I said, that one just came out today. The next one is one that I really don't think is going to come out in 2020, but I had to put it on this list. It is the second of the Euralian cycle. The first one is Fireborn. It is one of my favorite fantasy books of all time. I absolutely loved it. It follows um, a couple of different characters after their country has gone through a revolution and they are both orphans and they are, um, they test into the dragon riders, which is part of the military. And oh, it's just so good. I'm totally not giving it justice with this description, but it is so good. If you read like one book because I recommended it, read Fireborn. Anyway, the second one says it's supposed to come out in 2020, but it has no title and no cover yet. So I'm not really sure if it'll actually be released in 2020. I feel like it'll probably be 2021, but whatever. I don't care. Whenever it's released, I'm going to read it and it's going to be amazing. And the next one is one that I feel like is on everybody's list and it is House of Earth and Blood, which is the first in the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Mass. It comes out on March 3rd, so it comes out really, really soon. I don't even really know what it's about, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I just know that it's a half fae, half human main character. I'm assuming Crescent City kind of is modeled after New Orleans, I hope. And there's a romance in it. And yeah, so I hope I love it. We will see. The next one is The Camelot Betrayal by Kirsten White. This comes out on November 10th of 2020 and it is the sequel to The Guinevere Deception, which is a King Arthur retelling that kind of involves Guinevere a little bit more and kind of turns some of the stuff with the legends on its head and I just freaking loved it. I've read it twice because I read it by myself and then I read it for the Creating & Co book club group read in February and obviously I am excited to continue the series and I am really excited to know that the second one is coming out in late 2020 and the cover is up on Goodreads already and it's freaking gorgeous so I can't wait to see what it looks like in person. So. The next one is one that comes out on March 9th, and it's another one I don't really know much about. This, this is a running theme. I'm sorry, you guys. It's The Raven and the Dove by Caitlin Davis. There's a princess. She's supposed to be winning her perfect mate, and things happen, and there's a death match. I don't think I really need to know much else other than that, but yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, March 9th. The next one is a bind up of some comic books and it's actually going to be two different volumes followed by the third volume that I hope also comes out in 2020. It is the Batman comics and the City of Bane storyline. So the City of Bane storyline covers two bind ups and then there's going to be a Joker storyline that happens later this year which I hope comes out in bind up form because I am so excited for it. I might end up just getting the single issues even though I like reading bind ups more but yeah I am excited if you know me and you've been following my Instagram or anything lately you know that I am obsessed with DC Comics right now and that's pretty much all I want to read or watch or anything so yeah it's gonna continue just letting you guys know now 
The next one is Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. This comes out on July 21st and there's a princess and she's the second born and so her parents are just going to marry her off but she's convinced that the kingdom will benefit more from her being on the battlefield so I assume she's going to rebel against her parents and I'm here for it. I don't know what else is going to happen so there's that. The next one is Master of Sorrows by Justin Travis Call. This comes out on February 21st, so just in a few days. And I don't know much about this one either. Are you guys surprised? All I know is that it's a fantasy and there is a boy who finds out that he is the reincarnation of an evil god. And I just hope it lives up to everything that my mind is bringing forth because I love like villain origin stories and I'm excited so yeah the next one is the Empire of Dreams by Ray Carson this comes out on April 7th and I don't know much about it once again except that it is the fourth in the Girl of Fire and Thorns trilogy which originally wasn't going to have a fourth so I don't really know what we're doing in the fourth one but I loved the first three of the series so I feel like I'm gonna love the fourth one. I do think the fourth one covers um or follows a new person um that's about to be kind of entangled with the royal family of the first three so I am excited. The next one is a graphic novel and it is Joker Killer Smile from DC Black Label. It comes out on July 21st. It's already being released as single issues, but I'm gonna try to hold out until the bind up comes out and wait until July. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. You guys may remember I have talked about the Harleen comics from DC Black Label and how much I love them. So I am really excited to see something else from the same imprint, but like different artists and writers and all that stuff. But I'm really excited. So, and while I was clicking through my list, I saw another one that I just went ahead and added on to this list list because why not? Once again, it's one that I don't know much about, but I'm excited for it. It's Of Silver and Shadow by Jennifer Grunke, and I'm probably butchering her name. Comes out on May 26th, and it's a fantasy world where magic has been outlawed, there's warriors and heirs to the throne, and people are pulled into a rebellion. And that's pretty much all I need to know about a book that I am going to end up loving, I hope. So I hope all of these end up living up to my expectations. Like I said, let me know in the comments if I am missing anything because I definitely feel like I am. I actually delayed filming this video until the last possible second because I was convinced that I am just like forgetting something. I'm probably going to remember it as soon as I go to upload it. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you're excited for this year. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. Because I will be back really, really soon with another one. Bye.